All right, so it's really good to be back. I am glad to be doing this video, hopefully, like I said, once a week. So this is video number two. And uh, like I said last time, if you didn't catch it, it's the big idea. So what I'm going to be doing is presenting a question uh, each week that I would love feedback from you on. So I'm really hoping that this week's question will spur some interest and that you'll actually get going in terms of commenting because last week I wasn't really that successful. Last week I brought up the question, uh, do we have a tone of grace? Is there any kind of tone of grace in our lives? And uh, though there were like 50 views, I didn't really get any responses. In fact, there were zero. So I'm hoping that this week's question will spark some interest and that you will actually uh, respond. That would be awesome. But uh, just before I get to that, I wanted to recap last week. It was a little nuts. I'm not sure if you had uh, noticed, but there was this whole thing going on about uh, the burning of the Quran. And uh, yeah, tiny matter. But uh, it, it caught wind. I had heard about it last, last month in August, and it was kind of just in somebody's blog. And then before I know it, General Petraeus is saying something, President Obama is saying something, and um, I felt like, you know, if those important guys need to say something, well, I need to say something too. And uh, so I decided to write uh, a little thought piece. Um, it went in conjunction with some conversation that I was having with my friend Jimmy Trent, who's the director of Campus Crusade at the University of Florida. And so I posted something on my blog. It went up on the Gospel Coalition, and then I helped Jimmy kind of edit a piece that he posted on his blog. It went into The Alligator, which is the campus uh, newspaper for the University of Florida. That caught wind like crazy. It was uh, all over the internet, got onto the Washington Post, and so he and I were having conversation like crazy last week. We were praying about stuff, really hoping that uh, Terry Jones wouldn't do this thing, and thankfully it didn't happen. So last week was a little nuts, but outside of that, really nothing out of the norm as I'm trying to get back into school and um, studying the Hebes still and all that good stuff. So I hope that you had a chance to check out the video, read some of that stuff, um, even get a chance to listen to the sermon. Um, and I'm trying to post some things, like I said, regularly. So make sure to check that stuff out. All right, here we go. Big idea question. Did video kill the blogosphere star? Did video kill the blogosphere star? I question because there are a lot of people who still write on the internet. I do so. I like to write. I like to post things. People comment on it. But it seems to be that there is an ever-growing momentum towards strictly video, that people really aren't posting much of uh, the content in terms of words. It seems to be dwindling down as we move from big blogs to 140 characters in Twitter. And so we say, well, let's just post it all on video because that's entertaining, more dynamic. There are a lot of more elements to it. So I'm wondering if video is going to do the same thing to the blogs as it did to uh, the radio or maybe back in the 80s it did. But um, I'd love your thoughts on that. Is, is, this, is this right here with all the crazy stuff that I'm doing um, any better than, than what I type or um, if somebody famous actually had a blog is it better that they just go to video so would love your comments write back maybe shoot a video back show me that video has actually killed the blogosphere star would love to hear from you either way I'm out for the week peace